took X off my Spotify plan while she was on a road trip. I know it's not extreme but after she told me she was talking to someone while we were together I was extremely depressed. I've been getting better and three weeks have passed. Then I realized I paid for another month of Spotify for our duo account. I tried reaching out to her on Thursday since I noticed some odd things about her. She left work early due to anxiety attack so I invited her to hang at the beach to watch the sunset. She replied to me it's been three weeks. Congratulations on respecting your first boundary with me. I'm on my way out of town maybe next time so I knew she was going to be driving for a while. Since we work together I saw she had to work tomorrow so that means that she has quite some time on the road today Saturday. I decided I'm going to take her off my plan and it'll stop all the premium stuff that's included with it. I hope she enjoys the ads. My ex was using my Netflix account and at one point I noticed that she was watching a series. As she got closer to the end of the series, I changed my password with probably two episodes left. I laughed about it for at least a week. A few years ago I went away for a couple months to an academy across the country. A week into it my GF at the time dumped me over text. I was bummed but it is what it is. A few days later I see she's still watching Desperate Housewives on my account. So I signed out of all devices and changed the password. A little while later I get a text from her saying I was in the middle of the season finale when it logged me out, didn't realize I was on your account. Which was a great way to end it. I feel like the word boundary is being misused an awful lot lately. Let's clarify the difference. In simple terms rules are for others, boundaries are for yourself. Rules are restrictions you put on another person. Boundaries are restrictions you place for yourself to keep yourself from harm. My ex used my Hulu. He broke up with me and I changed my password and this man has the audacity to ask me for the new password felt so good to say no LMAO. My ex recently took me off their Spotify. I clicked this thread with great anticipation but thankfully you're not them ha ha. Congratulations you win ads while you're driving wah ha 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 I despise advertisements. Nice one, OP. You asked your ex to watch the sunset on the beach with you, eyes eyes. She's got a job just like you do. If she wants the benefits of premium, then she can pay for her own premium. Same goes for every other service Netflix, Disney, Hulu etc etc. Good for you, although I'm kind of surprised you wanted to get together. I had a falling out with a buddy who was on my family plan. We were both pretty heated. I didn't remove him off my family plan, but rather I used parental controls to block songs with explicit lyrics. He can listen to half his library ad-free now. I did this too, they texted me saying Netflix is not working. I replied oh works fine for me and left it at that. Congratulations on respecting your first boundary with me. She deserves every single ad she gets. My ex got really into the MCU while we dated, so I signed my Disney into her TV. I'd seen the whole Infinity Saga and she hadn't, so I was happy to experience that with her. She quickly decided Black Widow was her favorite character. We got all the way to Civil War when she blindsided me with a breakup. Soon I realized she was still going through the series, I signed all devices out of my account and changed the password. The last text I sent her was Nat dies in Endgame. My ex was using my Amazon Prime account to watch Thursday Night Football. Last Thursday I changed the password and logged out of all devices 30 seconds before the game started. It's the small wins. Check the streaming stuff too. Change password so she cannot log into them while at hotel on trip. I created a Google Doc years ago for a job I had and we would Chromecast the doc onto a TV, so people could see what tasks they had to do without checking in with a manager. I left years ago and just the other month saw that my old boss was still using that sheet and I blocked his access to it. I'm a little unclear on what's happening here. You call her your ex, and you say she was talking to someone while you were together emotional cheating. Then you don't see her for three weeks, but ask her to go to the beach and watch the sunset. Now you take her off your premium Spotify account, so does this mean you've actually broken up with her? 
might be a good idea to watch those sunsets by yourself. This is the correct level of petty. Okay, I have to ask why are you still talking to her when she cheated on you? That's a go f yourself situation cause she did it once and you are showing her that she can get away with it, so she will probably do it again you really should cut ties with her so you don't get hurt again. You should have cancelled it immediately after the breakup but this is way better. Imma be that guy but can't she just pay the huge 10-15 fees to get back to premium and completely disregard being pissed? Dot. She was talking to someone else and has the audacity to talk about boundaries. This bitch. If you share the account you can also change the song they're listening to. My friend used to complain all the time because his sister changed his song LMAO. They work at the same place. It's gonna get awkward. If the split isn't amicable and either party is getting petty or spiteful then it's gonna be more than awkward. I'd suggest looking for a new job before this gets ugly. Never date your co-workers. Oh man. We used to start playing annoying music to our friends on road trips if they left their Spotify open and we noticed. I used to work in a place that someone left their Spotify open on the computer, so when he would leave and I would come in, as he was driving home I would play like Ramstein suddenly, or add Baby Shark to the queue. What does that part about respecting your first boundary with me mean? This is petty revenge at its height. Excellent work. This was delightfully evil. Absolutely. Thank you for posting actual petty revenge. When my ex-wife cheated on me, I might have turned the data off on her phone, also blocked her phone from the home network. Everyone won. You got her mad, and she sweated out the anger from listening to commercials with the guy waiting for her at the end of her long drive. Oh my, she may have to listen to a commercial. Easy there Satan. So you wanted to get back with your ex, asked her to go see the sunset with you, and when she rightfully refused you cancelled your Spotify early. It does sound a little petty, but really you should just get over her. Whoa way cool. Good on you. This is ice cold LMAO I would be so pissed. There is like so much detail missing who can give the right response. Congratulations on respecting your first boundary with me. What a massive cunt. Perfect. Great petty revenge. Good for you. So the revenge is for. What exactly? Your ex had an anxiety attack at work. She didn't turn to you for support. You took her vulnerability as an opportunity to ask her for a romantic hang which, yes, sunset at the beach is romantic so don't try to deny that. You're a scumbag, dude. What the hell is this word salad? Your ex cheated on you, then additional random information about her anxiety, and then you wanted to hang out and watch a sunset on the beach with her? But none of that is relevant to the story and doesn't really make sense without context. And now, you assume she's going on a road trip and cancelled the Spotify account. So, assuming she is on a trip, she might have to listen to some commercials? Wow, massive revenge bro. I don't see the revenge here when you try to get back to her watching the sunset. If she also works do you think she would be mad that she can't use your Spotify? It's like 15 bucks. There is no winning in this story, but you definitely won't be winning anything in the future with this mentality. The guy at the end of the road is clearly winning over your broke a loudly crying face. You do realize it takes one minute to create a Spotify account, right? Similar, but not really my ex cheated on me and then changed his Spotify password so I couldn't use his account. He knew I didn't have credit card access to buy my own subscription. Asshole. But he's bald and miserable in life and I have my own Spotify account now so guess who won? Good. Don't be the fool. That's it. Simple. Guess they never knew there is something called Spotify mod. 